what's up everybody? My name is Ricky. Welcome to the HitLab Academy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate a delay so it only pops out in the gaps without having to use automation. Let's go. So the song we're working on today is called Sail the Sunsets by an artist called Jared Smith. He's from South Africa and we worked on this here at the Hit Lab, both myself and how we co-produced the song. And it was really, really fun to work on this with Jared. Um, you'll notice that the verses has sort of a vocal and then a little gap and then a vocal and a little gap. So what I want to do is I want to fill those gaps with delays. You can do this by putting a delay on an aux send and then basically automating the send so that it only comes out in those gaps. But if you want to do that over a whole song, that's very painful. And sometimes that's not required. I'm going to be showing you a different way to do this today, basically by using sidechain compression uh, alongside a delay plugin on a AUX bus. So let's get into this project and I'll show you what we got going on. So we've got a vocal channel here. Um, at the top, I've got a lead bus. Again, if you want to see why all my things are in folders, go have a look at my previous video on how to organize your Logic Pro sessions. Let me play this back for you and then we can sort of see what we're working with. I take a dusty road I know you're scared but I'll show you how to If you want freedom, let go as you can hear, there's those little gaps in between the vocals. So in addition to my vocal chain, I am going to add a new aux bus here. And we're going to be sending some level to it for now. We'll sort that out in a second. Uh, then the first thing that I'm going to be doing is putting on a delay. Now I'm just going to use a stock standard logic delay here to make it easier for you guys so that you guys can follow along if you don't have any fancy third party plugins. We'll figure out exactly what sort of delay we want in a bit, but I'm just going to leave this there. One thing you do want to make sure is just make sure that your mix is on 100%. We want this to only have the delay. We don't want any of the dry signal in this as well. So we're going to start with just the delay plugin on like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a compressor. And again, I'm just going to use the Logic compressor that's come stock with Logic. So Dynamics compressor. Um, and I find that even with all my third party compressors, for this specific technique, I tend to use the Logic one because it's got multiple compressors in one. So once it's set up with the side chaining, I don't have to swap out plugins. I can try different compressors to get different attacks and releases. The stock Logic compressor just generally seems to work really well for this. So I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to solo the vocal here for a second. So the delay at the moment. I take a dusty road. Yeah, so you can hear it's sort of while while the singing's going, it's a little bit manic because now we've got all these delays which you don't want. But then in the little gap, the delay is really nice. So what we want to do is we want to use the vocal itself as a input to the compressor, which is basically side chaining so that whenever the vocal is singing, it's compressing the signal. And then when the vocal stops singing, what's going to happen is the compressor is going to ease up and that delay will then be free to come out. So we're going to do quite a hard compression to pull out the delay while the singing's going on. And then when the singing's done, the compressor will stop doing its job and then the delay will pop through. So let's have a look. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to set the auto gain off. You want to set the auto, auto release. You want to turn that off as well. Then on the side chain, you want to put your vocal in there now. So you'll see at the top of the plugin, we've got the side chain inputs. At the moment, it's internal, which means it's not side chaining at all. So if I go in there, I actually want to send my vocal bus in there. So you'll see that my lead vocal bus is bus five. So I'm going to go in here. There we go, lead. So I'm going to just select that bus five. All right, so let's play this back just to see what is happening. I take a dusty road. Yeah, so now what you'll see is uh, the vocal signal is actually triggering the compressor. So then basically what I want to do is I want to just start getting this compressor to work a little harder. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to jack up the uh, thresh, uh, the ratio and then we're going to start backing up on the threshold. I take a dusty road. I know you're scared but I'll show you how to. And already you can hear that starting to do exactly what we wanted to do. So now it's just a matter of basically tweaking the compressor to react in the way that we want to. So for example, I want a really quick attack because the minute the vocal starts singing, I want the delays to stop. If we put the attack too long, 
I take a dose We're still going to hear some of the delays come through, which we don't really want. We want this to be really, really quick. So the minute the vocals start singing, we want it to suck out those delays. On the release, this you might want to play with this a little bit just to see that once the vocal has stopped, how long does it take for the delay to come back up? So you might have to play around with this a little bit. So let's have a look. I take a dusty road. I know you're scared, but I'll show you how to. If you want freedom, let go. We just need a flow. Yeah. I take a dusty road. I know you're scared, but I'll show you how to. If you want freedom, let go. We just need a flow. Yeah. That seems really nice to me. The reason I have the ratio so high is we really want to pull down those delays and the gaps as much as we can. Um, they're not necessarily going to go completely silent. We can probably pull down the threshold a bit more if you want them even quieter. I take a dusty road. Here we go. I know you're scared, but I'll show you how to. But if that's too much, then they're not popping out in those little gaps. So we can try and make the release a little bit quicker. I take a dusty road. I know you're scared, but I'll show you how to. Yeah, that's much better. I like that. So let's have a look at what this is doing in the mix. I take a dusty road. I know you're scared, but I'll show you how to. If you want freedom, let go. We just. Yeah, that's really nice. So what I want to do is on the delay itself, I do want to. Uh, link the two channels and I just want to pull down because you'll hear once the S's starts they start delaying quite a bit especially in this last bar so I just want to put out some of the highs so we don't get those repeat repetitive S's coming through I'll show you how to If you want freedom let go We just need to flow mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe thin it out on the bottom I'll show you how to If you want freedom let go we just need a flow. Yeah, so that seems better to me. Um, and then it's just a matter of fact of blending it in with the send level. We want this to be really subtle. I take a dusty road. I know you're scared, but I'll show you how to. If you want freedom, let go. We just need a flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. I take a dusty road. I know you're scared, but I'll show you how to. If you want freedom, let go. We just need a flow. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, um, one more thing you can do if you want to wash those out a little bit more, you can always add a little bit of reverb. So I'm just going to throw a vintage Valhalla vintage verb on this. Bring the mix down a bit, shorten it up a little bit. Let's see what that sounds like. I take a dusty road. I know you're scared, but I'll show you how to. If you want freedom, let go. We just need a flow. Yeah, yeah, you see this adventure starts when we leave. Don't yeah, so what that's doing is is that's just sort of pulling the, the, the delays out of the way of the lead vocal, putting them a little bit further back in the mix. Um, and I really like that. So this is an effective way. So if you had a look at what the chorus is doing on the vocal. Hey, here we go, say I changed my life in two steps. Oh, won't you please release me? You've just got those little tails on the delay now that pops in. Um, and if you listen to that same section without the compressor on. Here we go, say, I changed my life in two steps. Oh, won't you please release me? That's crazy. That's too, way too much. So I've basically just with one plugin 
on my delay bus that I normally would have anyways, I've just managed to get the delay out of the way of the lead vocal and have it very manageable. This is a very quick way to do this sort of thing if you want more granular fine control that may, t may, may take you an hour to do sometimes. Um, you could go in and manually, like I say, automate all of that, but if you just want a quick very effective solution. This is a great way to do this. Anyways, that's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment below on any future videos you'd like to see. Also, if you want to work with us, you can head over to thehitlab.co.za and get in contact with us there. Anyways, till next time, peace.